guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is having a phenomenal day or has had a practically a phenomenal month because, my word, we were on a hiatus. If you saw the last two videos I posted, which I don't even remember what they were on because they were filmed literally like weeks ago. Oh, I did the VIB sale, which happened, I swear, forever ago um, from Sephora. And then I started the mini makeup series, um, which is going to be super, super fun. I did primers. Um, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're going to talk about Black Friday at Ulta. I know it is super last minute, but we had issues with the video editor and it did not want to work correctly. So without video editing, it's impossible to get you guys somewhat decent videos because you see a lot of just like standing still staring at the camera like really awkwardly not cute so we're gonna go over the Ulta ad for Black Friday and what I recommend not necessarily what I'm going to get because uh, my beauty hoard as you guys can kind of see behind me has gotten a little obnoxious and by a little I mean a lot um, and we kind of have to like scale back and kind of go you don't need 16 more palettes to the palette collection, you don't even see them all up here in the corner, um, because there's more in other places in the house. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to give you guys my recommendations. I'm not going to go over every single item in here, because there's no joke a ton of stuff, and honestly, I was a little, like, womp womp with the Ulta ad this year, so I've got my handy dandy notebook, I'm not going to show you guys, this is literally, like, this is another trash notebook, like, competition notebooks, not one of my nice, normal, um, researching notebooks. Um, I'm not going to show you guys my handwriting because it's atrocious for this because I quickly scribbled that down. Okay, so first thing, highly recommend, um, is from Urban Decay, especially if you're trying to get someone, like, into, like, high-end makeup or you want to get into high-end makeup yourself. This one's really, really cute. Um, and it's the Urban Decay Nocturnal Shadow Box Palette. I don't know why I'm trying to read without my glasses because I can barely... Excuse me two seconds, guys, as I pause to put on glasses. Yay, now I can see better. Um, do I look kind of like, um, oh god, what is her name? Why can't I think of her right now? I feel like such a bad Harry Potter fan. You guys would know what I'm talking about if you're into Harry Potter. Uh, so yes, the Urban Decay a Nocturnal Shadow Box Palette. It is regularly $29. It's going to be on sale for $14.50, so that's half off. It's a really nice palette because it's got 10 different eyeshadow shades. It's got some neutral and a couple fun shades like a green, a purple, and a blue, um, which any of these I think look good on a lot of people's eyes. But it has a dual-ended brush. It's a flat tip and then a pointed tip, so it's really nice. Um, so yes, highly recommend that. Um, do not recommend um, the... There did... They did it again. Um, I didn't like it last year. I remember last year, I want to say we bought like three of them or two of them. We bought at least two and we returned each and every one of them. Ulta did a perfume sampler set and they're trying to get on Sephora's level and in some sets they are. Um, but this particular one, it sucks. Um, so it is their holiday women's fragrance sampler set. It's regularly $29.50. It's not. They'll never put out that price. Stupid. Um, and it's supposed to have a retail value of $46. They're going to have it on sale for $14.99. Um, basically, it is a bunch of little itty bitty mini spritzer bottles that you get as like free samples. Um, and then it comes with an itemizer and then a $15 gift card. It's not a gift card, Ulta. Like, if they would just say it's a $15 coupon, like, people probably wouldn't be aggravated with it, but, like, I don't know. If you're personally interested in one of those perfumes, like, in this, though, it's not a good deal because, like, you're spending $15 to get $15 off, so basically you're saving a penny in the long run, unless you're really going to count the fact that you get to smell all those, and then you have the little itty-bitty bit that's, like, worth, like, a dollar, maybe. Um, just don't recommend it. It's not very good. Do not get skipping, skipping. Um, the Bare Minerals sets, I love them. I've gotten them uh, a couple of years in a row now. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that I think I have very similar shades to what's inside of these, um, I would get them for myself. But they're going to have three different Bare Minerals sets. Um, one's a lip set. One looks like it's a um, setting powder and a blush. And one is an eyeshadow set. Um, but they're all going to be $10 and says they have a retail value of $39. Is it, is it really? Um, by the way, I'm probably not going to do any is it, is it really with any of the holiday stuff that's on Black Friday because it's just, it's too late in the game because everything got released really late. Did anyone else notice that? Everything got released like super late this year. Um, next, um, 
They're gonna have a bunch of different mascaras on sale for ten dollars. So if like if you need some mascara, like it's a great time to get it. Um, because they're all gonna be over fifty percent off depending on the mascara. I think the Buxom is fifty percent off. Um, but they're all gonna be ten dollars. It's gonna be the It Cosmetics, um, the Buxom mascara, Big Fatty from Urban Decay, and the newer newer man eater mascara from Tarte and I think Big Fatty and Man Eater look very very similar so but that's a great way to get your mascara I mean ten dollars that's like drugstore prices practically um Next, um, Urban Decay, they're going to have, if you're into, like, if you know that you want to try some Urban Decay lipstick, or it's, this is something great to, like, give people, um, but they're going to have the Urban Decay, um, 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencils, half off, so they're going to only be $10, and then the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipsticks, not the regular lipsticks, the liquid lipsticks are also going to be 50% off, so they're going to be $9 instead of $18. Um, I was not a huge fan of the liquid lipsticks from Urban Decay, but I've heard some, I've heard so many mixed reviews about it. Some people love them, some people hate them. Um, highly recommend because I'm posting this on Wednesday. Always try to like go before Black Friday or look at swatches. I always recommend to go into your store before you decide to buy any specific colors. So if you're like, I recommend doing shopping online. Don't go to the stores. Don't get killed. Don't shove someone out of the way for, it's a, it's a two-bit lipstick. It's gonna be okay. Black's gonna look, you're gonna look, you will move on. And we are moving on to the next thing. Um, the next thing, there's so much just stuff in here. So much stuff. Like Ulta Beauty has a bunch of different uh, their little makeup sets, which if you have a young childish child that wants to play with makeup, get them the like cheapy Ulta stuff that have like a bunch of different shades, eyeshadows that they can play with and a couple different lipsticks. Like don't, 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 don't be playing with like big palettes. Don't let people that don't know what they're doing with makeup get an expensive palettes. Get them the cheap stuff, let them destroy it, and then get them something nice. Um, so I highly recommend those Ulta sets if you know anyone that is into, interested in stuff like that. Um, next from Tarte, it's their Man Eater Must Haves Eye Set. That one's really cool because it's got a mini Man Eater mascara and a mini Man Eater eyeliner. Um, it's supposed to have a $27 retail value. I have no idea if it is. If you guys want me to tell you if they're actually, like, what their retail value is, you can leave it in the comments and I'll, um, try to remember to go through the comments after this video has been posted. Um, so I can tell you if they're actually, like, a good deal, what they are. Um, moving on, moving on. Oh, um, Ulta is doing a skincare sampler set. Um, it's gonna be half off. It's basically it's like a drugstore style. They called it the Ulta Beauty Holiday Skin Sampler Box, which they have on their website right now if you want to look at it. Um, but it's regularly $9.99. It's gonna be on sale for $4.99, so it's half off. Um, but it's got like Simple, Burt's Bees, Shea Moisture. Um, it's got a bunch of like the drugstore brands. Um, it's okay. I don't highly recommend it that much. I mean, if you want to try, like, some different skincare stuff and you're into more, like, the drugstore than, like, the high-end, I'm more into high-end skincare, um, that's something great or something just, like, that's a very easy, like, gift. Um, so yes, highly recommend that. Ooh, I didn't even notice that. Me and my sister were going through this last night trying to figure out, like, what we like and what we don't. Um, they're gonna have a $10 origin set, um, for it that's supposed to have an $18 value. It looks like it's got their clear improvement, um, mask, their um, energizing moisturizer, and their checks and balance um, face wash, which I love. That's literally one of my favorite face washes. Um, so that is super duper exciting. Love that. Um, next, I'm going to have the Philosophy shower gels, that are, they're the three-in-one shower gel shampoo and bubble baths. First, they're 16 ounces. Um, I really, really like them. They're not the best savings in the world, but it's like the same price they always end up going on sale for. They're regular $18. They're going to be on sale for $12. They are really luxurious. I love them. The scent lingers on your skin, but it leaves you feeling really nice and moisturized, which is why I enjoy those. So if you've not tried those, recommend it. My favorite is the fresh cream that my sister won't let me have because she hates the smell of it. I don't know, it smells delightful, in my opinion. Blah, blah, blah. They're going to have a bunch of, like, hair tools and stuff. Um, they're going to have, this is literally, me and my sister debated. I don't think it's the same one, but I'm kind of, like, on the fence on if it's the same one or not. Um, 
It's the It Brushes for Ulta. It's their Your Face and Eye Essentials mini five-piece travel set. It's going to be on sale for $15, regularly $30. It has an $8 value. I cannot tell you the value on that one. They do not sell each one of those minis individually. Um, at least to my knowledge, they still do not on Ulta's website or It, Cos um, it Cosmetics website. Um, but my sister's friends is the exact same one that we got last year. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if they duplicated because they're, they're, they're Ulta. They can do whatever the fudge they want. Um, next. I love how I'm like not looking at my notes. I'm just like scrolling through this and going, what do I actually like? Um, they're going to have a Becca Iconics Cheeky cheeky Glow Kit. I would be curious as what highlighter that is because that does not look like the, they not only put Moonstone or Opal highlighter um, and then they've got a liquid one so it's a powder and a liquid but they normally always put Opal or Moonstone but it does not look like either because it looks like it has a pinky undertone to it. Um, next, highly recommend this. This is awesome especially if you're looking for some mascara. Um, they're going to have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Ultimate Mascara Set which is $14. It's supposed to have a $34 value. Don't know. Um, but it's going to have the mini better than sex, mini better than sex waterproof, and a mini melt off mascara which you kind of need in order to take the waterproof mascara off because no joke that stuff's like lead and literally I have tried taking it off my eyelashes and if you're not like, you have to use good makeup remover because if you just, you, it doesn't work well if you're not using good stuff um, because you'll literally rip your eyelashes out of your eyelids. It's not a cute thing. It does look cute. Um, but yes, highly recommend that set. I love Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's one of my favorite mascaras. Um, yeah, that one's really good. They're also going to have, I mean, I use, as a pasty person, you know how hard it is to kind of get like a tan because we don't tan. We stay pasty. Like I literally, like, I don't know if you guys can see it. I got sunburnt. Now you guys can't see that really well. Um, well, you can kind of see the weird lines. Um, I got sunburned over the weekend because I'm an intelligent human. Forget that I'm pasty sometimes. Um, but from Benefit, they're going to have their Hula <sighs> Bodice. I know it's supposed to be a play off a goddess, but all I can think of is like a bodice, like top bodice. No. Um, but they're going to have that on sale. It's their Hula Bodice Cream, which is regularly $30. They're going to have it on sale for $15. It's like this cream stuff, and it's like a temporary tan, and it has like a little sponge, and you just massage it over your skin. It gives you a very soft, natural glow. So if you need that, especially during the winter time, because you want to keep a tan or something, um, but you can't stay out in the sun because, you know, it's like freezing outside. I live in Florida, and even to me, it's freezing right now. It's already in cold. Um, but yeah, highly recommend that. 50% off. Um, next, which I'm skipping through a bunch of stuff, guys, because there's, there's a ton of stuff. Um, uh, most of it, I think, is really womp womp, though, this year. Um, next, I highly recommend is from Philosophy. Again, I love Philosophy. They're one of my favorite brands. They do not pay me to say that. I wish, but they don't. Um, no. So, me and my sister debate on this because we bought two of these. She swears it was like a year ago. I'm like, no, 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 it was in January. It's almost like a year. Um, but it's the Philosophy, the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. It's a 12-ounce bottle um, for $15. They had one during the, like, springtime, end of winter, springtime. I think it was the spring. It might have been in February that we got them then. Um... But we got them for $15, but they were 8-ounce bottles. So this is a much better deal. This stuff is amazing. It's a very fine exfoliation. It makes your face feel nice and squeaky clean and refreshed. And I love it. And it foams. It's it's an amazing face wash. If you're looking for a good face scrub, this is fabulous. And it's a limited edition size. Um, so yeah, that one's pretty fabulous. Um, the next is from... Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm skipping so much stuff. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, they're going to have their... <laughs> This made me laugh because if you go on Sephora's, well, let me finish this one first before I go into that. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Select Glow Kits are going to be 40% off. Ulta only sells for glow kits, so to my imagination, because it says they're likely anywhere between 40 and 45, so that's anywhere from the 4 pan to the 6 pan. I think they're going to make all of them go 40% off, but that's just an assumption. I do not know, but if you're looking for a good highlighter, you can do that. Um... Definitely, I would do it over the Sephora. Sephora literally, it made me laugh because they have them on sale literally right now. Because um, if you go into Sephora's um, app on their Wednesday Wows, they literally have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit on sale for $24 and it's regularly $40. So that's 
40% off. Does anyone notice that Sephora and Ulta are like fighting with each other like cats and dogs? I don't know. I have just seen it a lot and it makes me laugh every single time. Um, next, um, this one is not to be confused with the last one that we talked about because their names are different and the stuff in there is different. This one I like. I don't care for the drugstore one. Um, but it's the Ulta Beauty Women's Skin Care Sampler, not to be confused with the holiday skincare sampler because they're different. They are different. Um, but this one is going to be on sale for $19.99. I tried looking for this earlier because I wanted to research it so it could be one of the future is is it really videos that I do. Um, and it's not on the website anymore. It was on the website literally days ago because I saw it. I looked at it. I saw well, what was in it and all the ounces and stuff and I should have researched it and I didn't. Um, but it's going to be on sale for $19.99. It's what it's actual prices. It's not actually on sale. If you don't get it during Black Friday, I it might not still exist. These ones go really, really fast, but it's an awesome set because it has a lot of high-end skincare brands, which is what I really enjoy about it. It's got Philosophy, Alginus, Dr. Brand, Juice Beauty, Strivectin, Mario Badescu, Clarence, a brand I've never heard of. <laughs> Um, I literally just wanted the brand in there. I was like, who's that? I don't know. Um, but what I really like about it and what makes it really cool in comparison to Sephora's, because um, I think this is supposed to have $108 value. Yes, it's supposed to have $108 value. Um, but it comes with a $5 off coupon. It's not a gift card. I know the description says coupon says gift card is not gift card, it's coupon. Um, but you can use $5 towards one of the full sizes from that brand. So that is really, really cool. Um, and so that basically is like, I don't know. I think it's much better than some of the Sephora ones. So I think Ulta is really trying to get on Sephora's level with some of these like different sets. So that one's really awesome. I highly recommend it. And I recommend if you're able to get it on Black Friday, get it because I highly doubt it's going to be there much longer because those sets really do sell it super fast. Um, next is from Laura Geller, which I feel like we never talk about Laura Geller, or no one ever talks about Laura Geller, because they're like, I don't know, they're one of the less known prestige brands, at least in my opinion. Um, but they have their Gilded Goddess kit, which is going to be on sale for $19. It's supposed to have a $52 value, which is really cool. Um, but it's got two different highlighters in it. One's a stick and one's like a cream. I think it's a cream. I'm not 100% positive it's cream, but it's a panda cream. Um, and then it also has their Spackle Face Primer, which is a really strong face primer. It's literally spackling your face. Uh, but that's going to be on sale for $19 again. So that one's really awesome. And then the only other thing that I was interested in, because I was like going through this going blah, blah, boring, boring, don't really care. Uh, they have the Husk brand on sale, which is one of my favorite hair care brands. Uh, I use it regularly on all of you. guys never get to see how long my hair is like. There it is. Tease on my hair. Um, because it comes down to my waist. I always compare it at the front and on the back. If it's in the back, it's definitely touching my butt. Yeah, it's on my waist. Um, but no, they're going to have it 50% off. Normally, it's buy one, get one 50% off. It's the sale that Ulta always does. Um, so yes, I highly recommend it. They are, um... Hair masks are my favorite, not the hair masks, the deep conditioners. The hair masks are really good too. Um, but their deep conditioners are amazing. I love them so, so much. Um, and then if you spend $50 online, you can get a free nine-piece Ulta Beauty bag. It's a, Don't try finding yourself to spend $50 to get the Ulta bag. It's not that great. I mean, make a great gift. That'd be super easy to hand off to someone. Um... But yeah, that is it. Again, I'm not really that impressed with Ulta's sale this year. I feel like in years past, it has been better. Um, and also, it might have something to do with the fact that I've grown my collection a lot over the last couple years. So, of course, it's not like you guys can kind of see in here. I need to, like, clean this box up because it's kind of become my random palette and candle box. Because um, you can see, like, my Sweet Beach palette right here. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's part of the reason I wasn't a big fan of their sale this year because... I don't know. They haven't had a lot of palettes on sale. I was really shocked about that because normally they put a bunch of different palettes on sale, but not this year. Not this year. But yes, that's it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get notifications on my videos, do go up because sometimes things happen and we have to go on hiatuses. So make sure you hit the little notification bell. And if you want to follow me on my different forms of social media, make sure you click the link there down below for all that jazz. Also, if I forgot to mention it, Bath & Body Works. If you're a big fan of Bath & Body Works, they're going to be doing, we don't know the full specifics of it yet, other than that it's going to be a bag that they've done in previous years. But they've got an awesome... 
bag set from Bath and Body Works, which is going to have their new recharge um, shower gel body cream in it. They're also going to have their champagne toast candle, which is one of their three works, which smells amazing. I literally just bought that candle. Um, it's got their, a mini winter, winter candy apple hand cream um, and a mini winter can not. The hand cream is already a mini, it's the hand cream, it's the Shea hand cream, it's already a mini size. Um, but they also have the Winter Candy Apple mini body lotion, the Winter Candy Apple hand sanitizer, and a hand sanitizer holder in this really cute bag that comes in a like blushing pink kind of color, um, which I think matches the Champagne Toast candle perfectly, or a gray. I think they're going to end up doing it 30 if you spend $30, you get to buy the bag for $30 is what they've done in years past. So, highly recommend doing that. But again, that is it for this video, guys. Stay boxy.